How long is a piece of string? How much do Facebook ad cost really does depend. I mean, you could spend three pound and get a customer, or you could spend three million pounds and get lots of customers. Um, perhaps the best way to think about it is this. Facebook is like a supermarket for leads. And you can go into that supermarket with your trolley and you can choose how many you want and you put them in your trolley. And then, of course, you have to go through checkout and pay for them. And of course, what you pay depends on how many you've got in your trolley. It's not a perfect analogy, but broadly speaking, it ain't bad. So the starting point for you is to work out well, how many leads do you actually want? Because the more leads you want, the more you'll pay in total, although the cost per lead um, will is likely to sit somewhere in the range of between two pounds and ten pounds a lead. And that will depend on the industry, the sector that you're in, and a myriad of other factors. And it is entirely possible that your business, for the leads that you require, fall outside of that range. So I'm not promising that you get leads for between two and ten pounds, but I am saying that's a good rule of thumb. We're able, we, we operate certainly in our own business in that range and most of our campaigns are operating you know, around the two to three pound a lead mark, which works very well for us. We bring in 100 leads, it costs us 300 pounds, say. We're able to convert on those 100 leads. We can convert 10, 15, sometimes 20 of those people into paying customers. We get a very good return on our investment in Facebook lead ads. And one of the first things we'll do on your setup call is we'll go through with you the numbers in your business. Um, it will depend on how much your customers are going to spend, you know, perhaps what your margins are, what you can afford to spend to get a customer and how many leads you're likely to need because not every lead will turn into a customer, to be clear, and your ability to handle the leads that you get effectively will determine how many leads you need to get a customer. So if you need 10 leads to get a customer and you're paying £2 per lead, then it's costing you £20, £2 times 10, £20 to get a customer through Facebook ads. Now that may or may not be a good number depending on what the profitability and margins are in your business. We've pulled together an ad spend calculator, which is fairly straightforward to use below. So you can utilize that and work out how much you could be spending on Facebook ads based on the number of leads that you want. Just to be clear, it's just to give you a guide. It's there to give you an indication of your likely spend based on the number of leads that you want. One other thing I'll say at this point is that when you're in the test cycle for any campaign, and this is the first two or three weeks of the campaign, you do need to spend a couple of hundred pounds to run that test effectively. In truth, something close to 300 pounds will be better. You'll get a more robust test, but we'll spread that money, that 200 pounds or so, across 20 or 25 different ads. So kind of only like 10 pounds an ad, and we'll see which ones are getting the best clicks and the best conversions into leads. We then hone that down during the test cycle and beyond the test cycle, we then spend all your money on the two or three ads that have been proven to convert best into leads for you. So once you move out of the test cycle, what happens is your cost per lead uh, typically comes down and the number of leads that you get goes up. But if you try and run a test cycle with a smaller budget than a couple of hundred pounds, then you're forced into making compromises. Compromises aren't good.